Okay, welcome to Code Science, where we're going to be looking at the Earth and the solar system over the next few lessons. First, as always, there will be uh, recap and remind questions. These should take no longer than five minutes. Okay, now press pause to answer the questions. When you are ready, unpause it to check your answers. Let's check to see how we've done. The first three questions are on last week's lesson. The fourth question is on this topic. And the fifth question was on previous topics. Question one, metamorphic rock is made from crystals and has a squashed texture. They do not contain fossils. Question two, the three types of rock are igneous, born from fire, volcanoes, sedimentary formed from sediments and metamorphic which is changed rock question three sedimentary rock is formed when layers of small particles called sediments get squashed this happens over millions of years question four the tectonic plates move because the heat from the core heats the mantle creating convection currents. The convection currents move the plates. Question five, and this was on our cells work when we're looking at uh, cells and tissues. An organ system is the name of a group of organs that work together to perform a life process. Right, this lesson is on days seasons and years now facts to know what it's like when our part of the planet faces the sun to know what it's like when our part of the planet faces away from the sun we're going to explain why we have days and nights we're going to define how long a year is we're going to be able to name the four seasons and we're going to explain why we get those seasons. Let's start with a look at the star at the center of our solar system. The sun, a source of light, a bringer of heat for the whole of the solar system. 152 million kilometers away in the region known as the Goldilocks zone, there is a rocky planet named the Earth. The Sun-Earth relationship is a crucial one for life to exist on the planet. The Earth lies within the Goldilocks zone not too hot, not too cold, just right for liquid water to exist. The Earth goes round and round the Sun, following a path we call its orbit. This orbit is not a circular orbit, but forms an ellipse. An ellipse is the mathematical name for an oval. The Sun isn't quite at the centre of the Earth's ellipse, and this means 
that the Earth can have a maximum and minimum distance from the Sun. So we have seen that the Earth goes around the Sun in its orbit within the Goldilocks zone. The point at which the Earth is closest to the Sun is called the perihelion. This happens in January and the Earth is around 147 million kilometers away from the Sun. The point at which the Earth is farthest away from the Sun is called the aphelion or aphelion. This happens in August and the Earth is 152 million kilometers away from the Sun. The average distance of the Earth from the Sun is 150 million kilometers and we call this distance one astronomical unit or one AU. It takes light about eight and a half minutes to travel one AU. The elliptical orbit is not the reason seasons occur. We will be looking at that later. But this is to show that the Earth's orbit is not a circle. So here we have the Earth going around the Sun in its elliptical orbit. Now we need to put a mark on the orbit so we can count the number of full orbits that the Earth has done. And it's done with this green arrow. After one complete orbit, the Earth has done a year. And that's 365.25 days. However, if we only look at full days, it's a quarter of a day short. And after two orbits, it's two quarters of a day short of the full orbit. And after three years, three quarters of a day short of a full orbit. And after four years, it's one full day, which we add on to our 365 to make 366 days. And this is our leap year. On the screen is a summary of the learning that we have done in the last section. Press pause now and read through and check that you are comfortable and happy with each of the learning points. The reciprocal reader task this week is in two sections. Firstly, open the Seasons Word document on class charts and do a usual reciprocal reader on it, highlighting any words that you're unsure of. In the second part, I want you to summarise the information that you have found. Now, you could use many different methods. You could use a table, bullet pointed list, a passage of text, pictures with labels. You could write a story, you could write a poem, you could write a rap, or you could write a song. But it's anything to help you summarise the information and to remember it. On the screen is the learning summary of our seasons section. Press pause now, go through the summary and make sure that you are comfortable and happy with everything that we have learnt. Okay, so we're going to be looking at days and specifically days on Earth. Here we have our globe and you can see it is spinning. Now we do need to understand that it's spinning around an imaginary line called the axis. The axis runs through the middle of the Earth from the North Pole all the way down to the South Pole. To show you this we need to get our stick and the axis runs all the way from the South Pole to the North Pole and it spins around this point. If you look the Earth is spinning anti-clockwise if you look down from the North Pole. This means that it, 
the sun will always seem to rise in the east and set in the west. Now one complete turn of the planet is called a day and it takes 24 hours. I would like you now to write down the differences between day and night. Okay, some of the things that you could have come up with. Nights are cooler, nights are dark, or at night time the earth is facing away from the sun. In the daytime the temperature is warmer, it is light and the earth is facing towards the sun. Our learning check in the order that we looked at them. We've seen that there are 365 and one quarter days in a year. We've seen that a year is the time it takes to go all the way around the sun. We have named the four seasons we have in the UK and we can explain why we have seasons. We've explained why we have days and nights and we have explained what the planet is like when it faces away from the sun and what the planet is like when it faces towards the sun. Your homework task this week is to revise and review the fact sheet on the sections we've looked at. Just concentrate on the sections we've looked at so far and these are the earth structure, types of rock, and days, years and seasons. Some of the root vision methods you could try, making flashcards, you could use a look, cover, write and check, you could make a poster or a PowerPoint, you could make an information booklet, you could ask someone to help test you. Remember there are other ways, so you do what works for you. Final thing from me, have a look at the questions on the question sheet attachment in class charts. Have a go at answering them. There are other tasks set up in class charts. Try and complete them all. Until next time, have a good and safe week.